Hey, what's up? My name is Kevin and I'm the Helpful Hero, here to help you leverage the awesome power that is HubSpot and also cover marketing design and UX related tips. In today's video, we are talking about a new module that I just released in the clean theme today. Like moments ago, it just went live. I love taking module requests that are popular from customers that are using the clean theme and building them and then releasing them into the product. And today was that day. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Over and over and over again, over the past few months especially, I have been getting asks for a timeline module. And so today, you as a clean customer, if you are one right now, get access to the brand new clean timeline module. And this sucker is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. So let's jump right into HubSpots where I have this page all set up to kind of demo the timeline module and all the functions and features that exist in it. So first and foremost, if we go over here to the sidebar, I'll just search for timeline and then here we go. We'll just drag this into our page. Let this load for a second. Now I named it timeline because that is basically what it's gonna look like, but this module is super sweet in the way that it's flexible enough to work with say, a process that you or your company or your client might have um, or just use it as it's meant with a more of a timeline look and feel. So as you add in the new module, here's the default and what it's gonna look like. And then we can go in right here and basically customize what the timeline looks, at, looks like. So our first bubble, we can obviously add something like, you know, this year or you know, in the future. So maybe we'll call it 2022. And then the end or the very last bubble on the page, maybe that's our starting point. Or it could be our end point. It's really super flexible. So for this example, we'll just say 2015. And then we can go into our different timeline events and create as many as possible. So as you can see here, we have just our you know, placeholder event of January 1st. But if I were to go in and edit that, you can very easily say, what do you wanna add? An event or a year bubble? And that's really just what I'm calling it. The year bubbles are these big giant bubbles and then the events are these smaller bubbles with a date and description. So let's just go ahead and keep it as an event and then we can go ahead and adjust our date right here. So maybe we'll just do January 15th instead and then you have complete access to whatever contents um, inside of that event, uh, inside of that event that you want to take place. You can add an image, you can even add a video. It is completely flexible in that way. So if I go ahead and just click apply changes, we're gonna see just how those changes um, take place right here. Now, if we go back, um, I'll show you just how easy it is to add an additional event. So we'll click add, We'll keep this one as an event as well. And we want this event to actually be on the left-hand side. So we get that a little bit of that staggering look. And then we'll change this event to say January, um, we'll say 5th, um, 5th. And then here, maybe we'll do something like a headline. So we can add a headline right here and maybe some content underneath. Don't you love my placeholder text? So we'll make this a headline and then give it maybe an H4 and then hit apply changes. And you're gonna see how this then staggers so that we can basically create a completely custom timeline with certain events called out using our typography and just how that's visually weighted. Super awesome. So let's just try one more thing. We're gonna go back here and let's say this time we wanna add another year bubble. So instead we're gonna say, let's do year bubble. And then right here, we're gonna put, let's just say 2020, hit apply changes. And now we're creating that separation between our events and then the larger years. And that is how easy it is to actually go through and add an event or add a year. Now, there's one more step to this, and that is how do we style this thing? Now, whatever, it looks cool with this green and blue out of the gates, 
But if we jump over here to the style tab, and this is new for this module, and this is a new feature for HubSpot, having this style tab. And for the most part, Clean is gonna start transitioning over to using the style tab, and being that this is a new module, we're starting to move in that direction as it opens up a few new possibilities. So here you can see at the very top, we have our timeline and we can click in there and you have full control over things like the line color, this little line. So maybe we wanna make this line color this green. And then we can go down here into the, what I'm calling a big bubble. So this puppy right here, and we can maybe change this to say, okay, we want the it to just be a gradient dark black. So we'll just change this to something like that. And then we have the border color, like what's that little color that surrounds it? Maybe what we want that, this blue color to match that line. And then what is the text color we want inside? And we'll just keep that white. And of course we can control the text size, the actual circle size. So maybe I want it a little bit smaller at about a hundred. And then I want the font weight to be bold. So let's just go ahead and apply changes and see what takes shape here. All right, this is looking pretty darn good. We've got our nice little gradient, our blue line, and so on and so forth. Of course, if we go right back over, we can control the little bubble, which is this little black bubble next to the dates. And we can go in and control um, the description. So what is this little description, the background color and the little outline color. And if you wanted to go ahead and change the text color, you can do that simply from the rich text editor. Now that is pretty much what we have here in terms of what we can control. Of course, you still have all the control over the actual background row, the color, whether it's a gradient, an image, um, what, whether or not you want the wave style or the spacing options, that is all standard with most every clean module. And so I hope you enjoy this new timeline module. I can't wait to see what you do with it. If you have any questions about it, you know where to find me or hit me up with a comment below. And if you have a request for a super awesome custom module that you would love me to introduce into the clean theme, hey, I'm all ears. I love taking popular requests and building them into the theme to make it even better. And with that, I'm out. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you later.